Valve never fails to surprise me, and today is no exception. But before I begin, let me give you some backstory first. In 2011, Portal 2 released for PC, Xbox 360 and the PS3. And as you all know, Portal 2 is a Source Engine game. That means that the PS3 had got Source running on it. While that in and of itself isn't special, because EA did the same thing with the Orange Box, which compared to Valve's port is like comparing Donuts to Windmills. But Valve's port has something very special, something which nobody, and I mean nobody ever found, even Valve themselves. Source Engine is known to be very moddable, as it was built upon Gold Source, which was itself built upon Quake. Now, there's many ways to mod the engine, from changing maps, playing with resource files, to even changing parts of the code. There's yet another way though, used by server owners to allow for stuff like 10x TF2 servers and surf, to even completely different games like Audio Surf, which I made, or Rocket League. They are called server plugins. Now, all the things that are mentioned run on so-called source mod, which is not a confusing name at all, which allows for very easy plugin creation. Source mod is in itself a plugin for Metamod Source, and Metamod Source is finally the actual source server plugin. It's like an onion. Source server plugins require C++ knowledge and a lot of prerequisites, meaning you won't find many people talking about them. That doesn't mean they don't exist, though. Now, you know how I said Portal 2 runs on the Source Engine and how Valve ported it to the PS3? Yeah, mm -hmm, it's in there, it's in there, yes! The way I found it was... Well... Anybody could do it. I was playing around with the game on RPCS3, a PlayStation 3 emulator, with a program called Process Monitor running and logging all file accesses. I was basically doing some research. I saw the add-ons folder, which is where the server plugins are stored, being read, and it piqued my interest. For fun, I actually put a plugin VDF file, which is a file that tells the game that a plugin is in there, and checked what would happen. Surprise, surprise, it actually looked at the file but didn't read it. Well, luckily for me, my JVMod binary modding days have not gone to waste, and I successfully decrypted and opened the engine file in Ghidra and searched for any mention of the add-on folder. What I found was the entire plugin loading code just compiled for the PS3. I made 100% sure I looked at everything inside the code, and everything was there, just left working. It even uses the proper PS3 SPRX extension for files, which is basically like a DLL extension for files, if you've ever seen that. Meaning, if you got everything set up, you can compile a server plugin for the PS3. But that still doesn't answer the question of why it didn't read the VDF file. It just looked at it, checked whether it's there, and then left. Console version of Portal 2 has a quirk where it will use special zip files, I think they're called VXZIP, for all the game assets. So I packed the VDF inside the zip file with that format, such that it mimicked the real file path, just to see what would happen. And... Holy mother of god, it's actually doing the file! That left me with one task. Make a plugin for the PS3 version of Portal 2. I mean, it's already done, it took me a few days. Most of the time was just trying to get the damn thing to be decrypted by the emulator, and then the PS3, who knew that signing an executable would be this hard for a newbie. But after that, it finally worked, and Portal 2 can now be called a Valve made homebrew loader. He said the title of the video! And the first homebrew it ran was this message. Source mod SPRX download free 2024 working. While I have no idea what to do with this next, maybe some of you might. 
I welcome everybody into the SPMP Discord server where we do all sorts of cursed source chicanery. Link is in the description. And after that sponsor block unpaid self-promotion highlight, I want to say one more thing. If you look at the original source code in svplugin.cpp, in the load plugins function, you can see clear as day that if it's running on an Xbox 360, it just exits the function immediately. And as we all know, a PlayStation 3 is much superior to the Xbox 360, which means that it is not a Xbox 360, which means that the code gets compiled for the PS3 either way. Thank you for watching, as this was my first voiceover video, I welcome any feedback, criticism or questions you might have. See you all in five years!